My name is Don Coyas, and I'm the president and founder of White Bison. Last August 10th, I was honored to celebrate my 32 years of continuous sobriety and thank God for the recovery programs that we have, thank God for our elders, thank God for the ceremonies and all those things that many of us need to use to stay sober. But one of the things I learned from the elders during those 32 years is they periodically gave me some teachings that has a lot to do with about helping me maintain <clears throat> some knowledge in my recovery in order to keep it going. When I was uh, about three and a half years sober, I got into a situation where it just seemed like my life was just turning bad. I had done a lot of good work in the first three years of my sobriety, but then all of a sudden it seemed like everything started to fall apart. It was like my whole world crumbled. So kind of out of desperation, I went to see this elder who also was in recovery, and I was sharing with him what was going on with me. And he asked me, he said, exactly how long are you sober? And so I told him exactly, and he said, okay. He said, now I understand what it is that you don't know, and this is what you need to know. So he said to me, he said, I, I want to tell you about that our recovery and our sobriety, it works in harmony with all of nature. We have a Mother Earth, and on our Earth it has seasons, it has cycles, things go around. And he said, also when we get into recovery, he said, that's the same thing happens. We are part of a cycle system. So he went on to tell me, he said, the human being, how we grow, is we also grow in a cycle. And he described this four-year cycle. He said the best example maybe he could use would be like an oak tree. He said when the oak tree, when it starts to grow, he says first a sap starts to flow in the oak tree, or the spirit flows into that oak tree. Then the first season of the oak tree, what you notice is that buds come on the leaves. The second season, those buds unfold, and then now that tree it has a shape of how it's going to be for that season. Then in the third season, what you'll see is that tree starts to turn into the fall, and it goes harvest and fruits and yellow leaves and reds or whatever. And then as it continues to go, then all of a sudden it goes through a period where it loses all the leaves. That's the winter season. So he said that the tree, it goes through its four seasons in one year. Spring, summer, fall, winter. It buds, then it matures, and then you harvest, and then you gotta go through winter. So the way he explained it to me is, is uh, he said, when you come into recovery, he said it's the same way, except it's a four years. We're different than a tree. We still have cycles, but we have four years. And so looking at this flip chart here, what he says is the very first year that we come into our recovery, this is our springtime. And what he says is then, when we get into recovery, it says like the Creator comes into our life and the Spirit comes within us. And that first year he said, all of a sudden you start to see a life force that hits you. And inside of ourselves, there's little buds of hope, little buds of things that start to go on with us. And he said, usually your friends will see it first. They don't know exactly what's going on with you, but he says, they'll notice there's something different about you. They might say, wow, you're glowing. I'm not either glowing. Or they might say, you got a new haircut? No. And they're trying to tell you that I noticed something about you. Then after a few months, you look in a mirror one day, you look at yourself and you say, you know something? There is something going. I am budding. So the first year of sobriety is just most likely just a budding time. Then as we come into the second year of sobriety, which on this flip chart you'll see, and that's the summertime. And so during this summertime, this is when those buds, they start to unfold. So all those little things that you didn't notice, all of a sudden you start to notice change. You start to see 
something's going on. And as we go through that second year, all of a sudden it seems that things kind of settle down for us. Not perfectly, but just things kind of settle down. So it'd be just like an oak tree standing out there and its branches are out there, nothing on them. All of a sudden it starts to bud, those buds unfold. And then all of a sudden you'll see what will happen. That tree takes a shape just like a tree does in summertime. That's how we do in recovery or in sobriety. Then just like the oak tree is standing out there and it, the cycle continues and it goes from green leaves, all of a sudden they're orange and yellow and fruits and harvest and nuts. So during that third year, it just seems, wow, I'm so beautiful. Everything is just really going good. I want it to stay like this forever. So during that fall time, life is really good. You really want it to stay that way forever. And just like the oak tree is standing out there and people are taking these pictures and the foliage is out there and everybody's coming to see it. Then one day, the oak tree is standing there and a gust of wind comes along. But the temperature changes a little bit. And all of a sudden you start to see a few of the leaves fall away. And the oak tree says, just no problem. I can handle this. Then a week or so goes by and the temperature changes a little bit. Gust of wind comes along and more of the leaves fall away. Then all of a sudden, as it comes into another part of the cycle, the oak tree is standing out there bare. And the oak tree is wondering, what the heck happened to me? And so when I went to see this elder, I had gone through spring, I had gone through summer, I had gone through fall, then all of a sudden it seemed like everything was falling apart. And what he told me, he said, no, that's a part of the cycle system. That each of those leaves, those are like your beliefs, everything that you believe to be true. But as you go around the cycle system, isn't it true that an oak tree has to lose its leaves in order for it to become the next shape the next time it comes around the cycle, the next time it has the seasons. But if you don't know about the cycle or the seasons in sobriety, you'll see yourself bud, you'll see yourself mature, you see yourself harvest, then all of a sudden it looks like everything falls apart. During the winter season, we are not able to answer three questions. So you'll hear yourself talk to yourself. All of a sudden you will start to say, I don't even know why I am anymore. So we lose our sense of purpose. The second question that you will hear yourself talk about is you'll say, I don't even know who I am no more. So you not only lose your purpose, but you lose your sense of identity. The third question you can't answer is where am I going? You don't know your direction. So we spend a period of time in the cycle of growth, in the, in the seasons of recovery, that all of a sudden it's like we don't know what's going on. It seems like I've done something wrong, or maybe we think God is mad, but it's none of those things. In our recovery, you go spring, summer, fall, winter. Then when that winter time comes around, then you start to see, oh, I'm budding again. And it starts to take off again. So how is it you know which season you're in? Well, when you are born, that is when you start the seasons, around the cycle of life. Baby, youth, adult, and elder. So when you're born, you go spring, summer, fall, or winter, then you're four years old. Then you go spring, summer, fall, winter, and then you're eight years old. Spring, summer, fall, winter, but you're 12 years old. But often when you come into recovery and if your drinking career was like mine, where you just messed up everything, when you get the Creator involved in your life again, He puts you into a springtime. So my seasons now are measured from August 10th, my sobriety date. Then the following August 10th, that's when I go to my next year. The following, I go to my next year. So it isn't to do with the seasons outside, it's to do with the cycle system you see that's inside of ourselves. So what happens very often when people get from three to four years sober, they get this feeling like something's all messed up and very often that's when they drink again. It'll happen again year seven to eight, years 11 to 12, years 15 to 16, except once you know that we're participating in the seasons, so then what, what it is you do in my case, I worked the, the medicine wheel 12 steps, so I had the steps take me through the winter time. It's a season of renewal. 
So what happens after four years? So I'm going to turn this flip chart paper here now and take a look at what happens after the four years. So we are now really a part of a 16-year cycle. So the first year you go spring, summer, fall, winter. But what happens in the winter time, you actually move down and you go through a second set of four years. Spring, summer, fall, winter. This is year seven to eight. Then when that's done, you move, always move in the winter time and you go spring, summer, fall, winter. Then you move up to 16 years, spring, summer, fall, winter. Four times, you won't know why you are, who you are, where you're going, except when you come into the spring now, you're a new person. You're a bigger, you're going to do bigger and better things, then it'll happen again. And then you go on for the next four years, for 12 years of sobriety, and then 16 years of sobriety. So this is the cycle of which we go through. And so when we know that, then this is, uh, it helps us to make the recovery easier. It helps us to make it possible. So in the teachings, what they say is the first four years they call survival. Isn't it true that every little tree, as it grows, it needs to know the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter. Then it says, spring, oh, I got it. Now I can go on again. For us as human beings, we go spring, summer, fall, winter. And then we make our change. This one here is called choice. So once you survive these four years, is when we make a lot of choices. Once you make good choices, then you find this four years is called influence. Because if you have made good choices, then you are more influential. Then the last four years of the 16-year cycle, this is called mastery. This is like baby, youth, adult, elder. Spring, summer, fall, winter. So the last thing I want to share is what happens when you go 16-year cycle? What is that happens then? So this is what happens, is you actually join a 64-year cycle. So this is 4, 8, 12, 16. Then during the 16-year cycle, you actually shift. This is what a shift is. This one, you, you, this shift here at the 16-year cycle is different than the rest. You have to really pay attention in making a 16-year cycle shift. So once you experience that shift, then you won't do it again. You'll do this now at 31 to 32 years, and then this is where you go into the 16-year cycle. So myself, I just moved to this four-year cycle of the 16-year cycle. So all what I really wanted to do here was to share the cycle system with the native teachings, along with uh, many of us who use the Medicine with 12 Steps. We use that program to grow, or whatever your growth is. What we find out is we participate in the cycle system. And in every four years, when it looks like everything has turned to crap, it really hasn't. It's a part of the natural growth process for each of us to go through a winter season. One season is not better or worse than the other. Each season has its purpose. So we should not dread winter. The winter time is a time of renewal. So I just wanted to share these teachings with you for those of you who are in recovery that I'm passing on to you what an elder gave to me.